Hey everyone, Framer just dropped some major updates in their spring event. And if you're a designer or marketer, you're going to want to pay attention to this. I was just watching it and I'll quickly run you through the four major features that they have launched. I'll try to keep it quick and simple. So first up, we have funnels and A-B testing. So now you can set up A-B tests directly in Framer, define what you want to measure, let the test run automatically on 50-50 user split that you have. And once Framer has enough data, you can go ahead and pick the better performing version and directly apply it. It also includes advanced analytics, which makes it a killer feature for marketing teams. No need to switch between tools. It's all built in right into Framer. Next, we have Framer now supporting native vector editing. You can create logos, icons, illustrations right inside Framer. No need to switch to another tool. So you can use vector sets to group different icons and reuse them across your website and also add animations directly into your vector assets. This makes Framer more powerful and a one-stop shop for both design and interaction. And next we have the new Wireframer feature, which uses AI to help you go from idea to layout super fast. So in this, you can start with a prompt. AI generates a rough wireframe and you can refine and iterate with more prompts. Smart layout gets you high fidelity wireframes quickly than ever. It's a great way to skip the blank canvas and get you moving. Last but not the least, we have workshop. This is where your ideas can turn into real working code components. You can start with the prompt and and Framer will help you build these custom components and you can keep tweaking them with more prompts until you get what you're exactly looking for. Whether you're a developer or you just want to build something custom, without leaving Framer, this makes it way easier. So there you go. That's a quick roundup of Framer's spring event updates, funnel and A-B testing, native vector editing, AI-powered wireframing, workshop for custom code components. Which one are you most excited about? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more such quick breakdowns and as always i'll catch you in the next one